I did it. <laughs> Overcoming fear. Oh my gosh. I actually felt like I was trembling. <clears throat> but in the dialogue inside my head was I've been watching my son with people sticking things in his eye and injecting him and, and all that for weeks and so if he could go for all of that I can be in the chair at the dentist's The good news is, I did it. The slightly not so good news, but still good news, is I kind of did already know I need um, bone grafting around here because the bones are so small where they got so damaged and broken and cracked before when I was injured that I need it all rebuilding in here. That's why I get swelling. I get a lot of swelling around here. And my face shape has changed in the last 10 years. Um, all of this, it's got like, there's like a, a, a huge like piece of bone missing here. <coughs> and yeah, so I need um, bone grafting so it's going to take a while to reconstruct under here but I want a permanent solution just like how I had my abdomen reconstructive surgery on my abdomen I want a permanent solution not something that's going to be needing to be addressed every few years so I can't believe, I was so shaky, I was shaking, absolutely shaking. But, and when, when, um, when the lady assessing me, when she was talking and she was looking at my medical records, she actually did look like she was gonna cry. And uh, she basically said, oh, you, you've been through so much. And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely traumatised of, it, when it comes to medical procedures, um, I'm extremely traumatised. Um, and the last time I was in a confined kind of environment, I woke up paralysed. So I didn't want, you know, I'm here. I don't want them to, I don't want them to use that as a barrier to treat me any differently, you know. I'm here. I'm. I'm here <laughs> and I was fully present I was just so trembling like it was unreal and I realized at one point that I was gripping onto this bar to hold onto I was gripping onto it so tight I suddenly thought oh stop it stop it North London the soundtrack of North London I'm in a, a car park waiting for my son in the car. He's just stepped out to do a couple of things in the bank and stuff. And I... <laughs> I'm... I'm... I'm <sighs> breathing and I'm recovering. But I did it. I, I want to swear, but I'm not going to... I did it. 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 And it, and it was, I was inspired by all the things that my son's been going through with his, with his eyeball. I think the eyeball would be worse than the mouth. Um, I don't know if I could have done everything that he's done. Like stone cold awake, like, like with no pain relief or anything. He's just been going through this every week. And it's like, if he can do that, then I can 100% get my bones addressed and so <clears throat> I, I was quite pleased because I was very articulate and understanding 
they, they, they understood when I said, you know, I've had to prioritize because first I had to deal with terminal illness and, and then, you know, I had to wait. I, I knew I had to wait a full five years for the bone density to settle um, because I am 53. So the bones start to get everywhere. The bones start to get tiny little holes in. So I knew this was a thing and um, I've waited patiently all this time and oh, now I'm here and it was it was unreal it was uh, it was a very good experience very good experience but I do need so obviously I'm gonna lose I'm gonna lose teeth because they have to reconstruct my jaw all, all of this it's all it's so badly damaged um the bones where i was injured through through the assault um yeah it's so badly damaged and it's very very thin like as in not deep anymore it's like a quarter of the width it should be so that's why uh, there's been a lot of movement like in my face but hey, I've got cheekbones. I mean, just just um, from here down needs to be. Um, but once I get this sorted out, you know, it's it's going to be like completely life changing, and I do feel really, really, really proud and relieved that I've done this today. It was a huge thing for me because I've been wanting to do this for about four or five years now but the previous sets of x-rays were and um, because I had so much um, illness and autoimmune issues immune deficiency because I've had my spleen out and everything and most of my pancreas my body just couldn't cope with it before so I waited patiently and here we are. So my breathing and everything, circular breathing and everything, it, it all was, it all paid off. Like I, I was able to get through it. I didn't cry. I was trembling it within, like my body was, it felt like it was trembling. And I had to keep doing a mental check of myself, but I did it. And the lady, you know, the lady doing the assessment, she was really nice. Um, the surgeon, she was really lovely. Uh, but I've, I've started to swell now, where I've been tampered with. So, yeah. Onwards and upwards.